uh, just a quick video sorry about the seasickness I will try and hold the camera steady as I can Sunday uh, time is it 22 Sunday afternoon I'm not sure what the date is but um, I'll put that in I'll put that in somewhere when I, when I discover the date when you're not working it's hard to know uh, what day you're on to be honest um, just thought I'd do a very quick video the wife's been to the car boot sale this morning we're in October now so uh, there's only a few left where I live till, till they stop it but they'll keep it going as long as they can before the bad weather starts before Christmas on the Sunday afternoon net here and not much doing I've heard a few people I heard Roy in Corsica about an hour ago um, pretty dead really not, not even heard many of the locals on there to be fair um, I'm going to get me as I said before I will be posting this radio off to get repaired to the shack um, to James at some point in the near future um, I thought I'd just show you something the wife picked up from the car boot sale not, not that much of interest to most people and not really CB related but um, she bought me this lamp it's got a light I presume it's a 12 volt light clamps clamps to a surface got a long gooseneck got an on and off lead switch so the idea is you position the uh, big magnifying glass it comes with um, and the light shines the light on the subject you're looking at so in this in this instance it's my um obviously i packed in the smoking with the uh, with the heart attacks i had recently um, now some of these coils i know this is uh, of no interest to any cb whatsoever unless you you happen to vape which obviously most people won't but see so look it's a lovely close-up this is through the magnifying glass um, on these coils they do have uh, rather small writing to tell you the impedance a bit scratchy that audio was there it's not very clear in the camera but I can assure you it is it is very clear to my eyes uh, very very small writing on these coils um, tells you the wattage 55 to 70 that one says I know it's not very clear the uh, for some reason the video is not um, not behaving itself too good and uh, 0.2 ohms impedance so basically it's quite small this is basically you pay about three quid four quid for these coils each and they only last uh, up to a couple of weeks possibly three or four if you're really looking you don't vape very often it's like everything it's how much you use it but uh, yeah they're about three quid a piece these so it pays to know um, can we see that yeah you can see it clear there look I think it pays to know the wattage before you put it in because in this particular one it's an Aspire Cleto or Clato however you pronounce it and when it's in your uh, your tank when the tanks put together all the components are there to build the tank it keeps leaking this one it's been nothing but trouble from day one all it does is leak uh, I just took it to pieces to try and investigate why I won't come to the bottom of it. I took it to a shop the other day and he had a clean of it and put it back together. And it's leaked since he did it. It's not the shop where I bought it from, by the way. It's where I go to buy my juices and coils. But uh, yeah, it's a bit of a no-goer, this one. So I've just took it to pieces. But um, yeah, that's the coil. It's quite, quite a large one. There is bigger ones, but that's quite a large coil. So it pays to know because when that's inside the unit filled with the uh, e-juice or liquid or oil or whatever you want to call it, it is very difficult to actually see the wattage, 55 to 70. And if you run it outside those parameters, your coil goes quicker. So it's another three quid to pay. But there you go. Thought I'd show you that. But I guess if you're taking little circuit boards, replacing capacitors, diodes on a circuit board, or these modern day... All right. Well, these modern day radios, if you're making adjust adjustments to the circuit board, turn that down. Yeah, if you're making adjustments to these very tiny surface mounted components, pots and that for audio, etc., um, it will come in handy, won't it? This thing, good bit of kit, about 50 quid, I think. They are new, not that I know where you buy them from. She paid, uh, hang on, get this right, £2.50. She wanted a fiver and then says, Oh. My husband recently had a heart attack, he needs something to do. We take £2.50. So that was the, uh, yeah, they took the offer. <laughs> and there you go. I'll, I'll attempt to put this together in a minute. And will it leak? Of course it will. 
And do you know where it's going to end up eventually? In the dustbin. Because I've about give up on the thing. I've run out of ideas and solutions. But um, anyway, I hope you're all well. Thank you if you still subscribe to me. Um, there will be some developments in the in the next month. I will be getting a nice radio, uh, HF set, all being well. Uh, off my friend uh, Adrian two one two one. That'll be my Christmas present from the wife. Apparently, um, all is not going too bad with me re rehabilitation. I went for the first time to the hospital, and I'm quite amazed. Uh, the hospital where I go doesn't treat heart people. If you had an heart attack and collapsed there, they would have to probably get you an ambulance to take you to uh, Coventry from the Neaton, which is probably about five or six miles. Um, that's that's the first bad bit. Well, it's not very good, is it? Secondly, they don't monitor you very well, and you're doing an hour and a half quad grueling exercises on treadmills, push bikes, all that sort of stuff. No weights, but uh, basically... Uh, two minutes on these hard work machines and then a minute on an easy machine but they don't monitor you two minutes they, they shout you after about five minutes and say can you move machines now and you've got no heart monitoring equipment whatsoever and if I'm honest ever since I've come back from the hospital um, I ain't felt quite so good but um, exercise it's exercising the heart and if it doesn't rain this afternoon I'll be getting out of my push bike and taking it easy and doing a couple of miles um, Anyway, I'll say 73 to everyone. Thank you for sticking with me. Uh, as I say, I will be doing some CB related uh, videos and, I, and when I feel better, I'll be uh, going up the ladders and changing my antenna as well. Um, yet again, um, I've got a plan of action to try and get probably another seven foot high. I don't want to go any higher than that because the winter is uh, about to onset, which we've already had. Yeah, can't call it smoky because it's not a cigarette. Got the old vape going, look. Got some, uh, oh, it's back to front. Blimey, look at that. Thanks for watching. If you could actually see anything. Yeah, it's a bit smoky and a bit steamy. And a, oh, not smoky, is it? It's a bit vapey in here. <laughs> oh, thanks all. <laughs>